Welcome, welcome to the show. It is Kathy and Kenny explain pop culture. I'm sorry, I don't even know what Mike I'm looking into. And actually at this point, I am so off point that I'm just gonna let you kind of introduce the topic and take it, Kenny, because- Can I, you hear me? I, gotta, I can't I hear myself. You cannot hear? I can't hear me, can you hear me? I can hear myself in the mic at all. But if you can hear me, just say you can hear me. Um, hello, can you hear me? This is Kathy and Kenny explain pop culture. And today we are going to do um, um, Saturday Night Live. Um, the Ready for Prime Time player. Um, so I just don't know if people can hear me or not. Um, hey, Dion. Hey, Jamila. Hey, Kyrie. Hey, uh, Kim. How you doing? How's everybody doing out there listening in on us? Uh, thank you for joining in. Um, I don't know if I can actually hear myself in my own mic, so I am hope I can hear myself. There you go. Hold on a second. I'm adjusting things here. All right. So, um, this is Kathy and Kenny explaining pop culture. And um, we're going to do the Saturday Night Live. Oh, you can hear me, Jamila? Okay, good. Because I can't hear me. So I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I don't even know where Cassie went. But that's okay. We got this. Um, so stick with us. So we're going to talk about the Ready for Primetime players. We're going to talk about Saturday Night Live. We want to talk about like some of our favorite scenes. Thank you, Jamila, for letting me know I can be heard. We're going to be talking about some of our favorite scenes. We're going to be talking about the Saturday Night Live not made for primetime players who made it to primetime and and far beyond that. So of course, we're going to be talking about people like Eddie Murphy and, 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 and Dan Aykroyd and, and Chevy Chase and Bill Burr. So people like that and you know, Mike Myers. Um, Okay, okay, Dion, thank you very much for letting us know. Now, when Kathy comes back, she's also going to have a phone number so you can call in and you can talk to us, and that would be fun. So please call in, and if you want to talk about Saturday Night Live, you can talk about it with us right here. And we also have a stream where we can, um, I think it's a stream where we can even think, plug you in. Okay, uh, yes, we, we can invite you onto the stream, but I think for the folks who are commenting, they are all looking at it through your page so i can't put any of the comments up so if we right. can just ask folks to go to our page which is kathy and kenny explain pop culture and that way we can get those comments up and get their feedback and find out um oh okay i'm talking and talking i'm like okay no wonder I i'm having so many technical difficulties today. that's okay we got they can hear me so i heard I, I can be heard i didn't i can't hear myself on my on my own i can't hear myself on my headphones so I can't hear anything in my headphone. Okay, you can't hear yourself, but I I hear you. You can't hear me either. I, I hear, hear you. you. I can't hear you. All right. But, okay, and, good. And as long as I can be heard. Cheryl, good. Cheryl, how are you doing today, Cheryl? I hope you're feeling better today. Okay, because uh, anyway, when I'm talking, you start talking, so it sounds like you can't hear me. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to shut up now. All right, this is Kathy and Ken explain pulp, pop, pulp, pulp fiction, no, pop culture. Pop, pop and culture. every Saturday, we just kind of started doing this during quarantine, uh, just kind of hanging out online together. And uh, I don't know, we've talked everything from superhero movies to dad movies to our um, uh, favorite duos and duets and all kinds of crazy Musicals, stuff. Musicals. So it's just anything pop culture yes. that we talk. Uh, you are invited to call into the show and give the show a call. I got to make sure I have the uh, phone line uh, hooked up. And again, I I was totally distracted and not uh, really focused today because I just spent the last two hours. Well, I, I spent the last two hours making pizza. Now, it doesn't take you two hours to make pizza, but it took me about 20 minutes to make the dough. But then I had to let it rise for an hour. And then once it, after it rose, I had to cut it up and, and put it into a pie. But anyway, I just made this incredible homemade pizza pie. And oh, there's a picture of it. It looks kind of gross there, but it's on Instagram. You can check out my uh, pizza dough. But it was 
uh, phenomenal. It wasn't quite as brown as I would have liked it, but again, I don't have a pizza oven and I know that's not a part of pop culture, but I just felt like I needed to share that. Um, as we go to the phones, Kenny, have you told them what we're going to be talking about? Yes, I told them we're going to be talking about Saturday Night Live. Okay, Saturday Night Live. Yeah, we're going to be Yay. talking about the Ready for Prime Time. Yes, yes. So well, we're going to be talking about the. Um, that's the funny, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the funny. Oh, you know, we should start the show like this. How? Live from North um, Carolina and New <laughs> Jersey. It's Saturday night. Kenny. No, this was say it's Kathy and Kenny. Explain it's Kathy culture. and Kenny. Explain pop culture Saturday night. Ah! We could be on Saturday Saturday Night Live because the last couple of episodes uh, were Saturday Night Live from home. So I mean, that's where we are. Yeah. Uh, again, if you are on our stream, we can see your comments because right now I can't see any of the comments. Uh, Kenny, I think they're all tuning in from your stream. If you yes. want to call into the show, you can call 704. It is a North Carolina number. Let me turn the phone on so I can hear it. It's a North Carolina number, but you can give us a call 704 yes. uh, 252 Yes, and if you want to talk about Saturday Night Live, we will be here today to do that. And uh, we're going to do that for the next hour. And we're going to talk about Saturday Night Live, and we're going to talk about the ready for primetime players, because these people were ready for primetime. Because originally, Saturday Night Live came on, and it was like this phenomenal when it started back in the 70s, and it was the not ready for primetime players. These were the comedians that were, weren't ready, they were too risque to be on primetime, and that's why they called it the not ready for primetime players. Um, but now, a lot of those not ready for primetime players... Um, took that and went further and not only ready for prime time, but a lot of them made movies. A lot of them were had their own TV shows, you know? Um, so it was a great thing. So we're calling us to ready for prime. This is commemorating Saturday night live, something that we all, that a lot of us all grew up with and everybody swears that their time growing up with Saturday night live was the funniest, the best season. And again, there's, there's lots of debates about the best season and, um, for I'm, 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 Live. I don't know if you could shout us out in the comments. And again, if you are watching us on YouTube, if you comment uh, live, if you're watching us on YouTube, and that's, um, uh, again, if you go to YouTube and Google Kathy and Kenny, I think we're the only Kathy and Kenny currently broadcasting YouTube videos, so we should come right up. Uh, or if you go to, I probably should put that up in there so people know what the YouTube page is called. Uh, but it's under my page, which is K-Walk Comedy. And if you visit that page in YouTube, uh, you'll sh you should be able to find us. But if you make comments, we can flash them up on the screen. Or if you're on our, our page that is uh, a part of uh, Facebook, and that's uh, simply our Facebook group, which is called Kathy and Kenny Explain Pop Culture. And I think if you, again... Google Kathy and Kenny on Facebook, you'll find it. But if you're commenting on that feed, then we should be able to see it. Um, so again, uh, by all means, find us so that we can read your comments and share them uh, with the audience. Now, every generation thinks that when they their generation Saturday night Saturday night a Saturday night live cast was the best. I kind of like the original. I mean, not all of them hit home runs every single time, but no. percentage-wise, I mean, you know, you had you had quite the cast. I think the original was the best. Although I, I know it was always a fight for me to try to stay up uh, that late. I was always kind of just challenged as far as trying to stay up and watch the whole but, show. It was always, now here's, always a here's, challenge. Here's, here's what I'm going to say. If you don't know... With cheeseburger, cheeseburger, no Coke, Pepsi means that you can't you be part of the cancer. Say, you don't know saying a lot. I'm just saying. If you don't know cheeseburger, cheeseburger, no Coke, Pepsi, you don't know saying a lot. So, again, back in 1975, is, did it debut in 75, 74? Yeah. Uh, I think it's 75. Man, I was only like 11. Was I even allowed to watch Saturday Night Live? <laughs> We have we have very liberal parents. <laughs> so, but uh, but I know I couldn't watch Hot El Baltimore and you yeah, know, no, we couldn't watch Hot El. But yeah, that's you, weird. You know, we we watch that. that. We were able to sneak up and watch that a lot, but not Hot El Baltimore. 
but not hot hot uh, Baltimore. Also, I think at the time, I, I, Soap was a little later, but I remember that show being kind of risque. Oh, Soap, yeah, yeah. Soap. To watch well, soap. <laughs> yeah, Soap. They they had they had a, they had a gay character in Soap back before they had gay characters on TV, really. So, played by Billy Crystal, which was yeah. phenomenal. You know, so when we're talking about this, I'm 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 going to start off. I'm going to break the ice with well, this conversation. You know what? Here, right? I, I put the list I put up, Kenny, is like alphabetical, so we could just jump around. We don't have to hit all of these because I actually kind of uh, 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 kind of stole the list from Wikipedia, but it just had some of the cast members, and I, I actually had a list of all the cast members, and that was about a hundred. And sixty people, which uh, mm. ain't nobody got time for that. We only have an hour to be with you. I, I have yeah, to go back to my pizza. I'm gonna have to show you a picture of my pizza. Did you see my pizza on Instagram? I saw your pizza. I saw okay, your pizza. I'm all about my pizza. I'm sorry. I saw your pizza, just... and look, I don't know that that cheese look a little burnt. It, it was a little burnt because I was trying to get the uh, the crust to be darker, and I think I I I think I went a little too high. Um, you know, in my next life, I'm going to build a pizza oven because I think everybody should have one. <laughs> so, um, going on this now, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, Kathy. Oh, wait. Yeah, I was making the connections because, again, so. Dion, my friend Dion. Oh, wait, was, is, was, was Soap Billy Crystal's. I don't know. I think he was on. Was it, was he, on it, he was a regular on Saturday Night Live, actually. So, because he's on yeah, my list. Yeah, but no, no. He was on soap first in their life. Okay, he was on soap first because he played the gay character on soap. Uh, my favorite scene in soap is uh, uh, Peter when Peter comes in and everybody has all these connections to Peter and like you know there's one one woman's having an affair with him and uh, this you know all these all everybody's got these different connections with Peter. Peter, 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 Peter was a late Peter, Robert Peter. Europe. Yeah, Robert Urich, you're, you're right. Peter um, was like Robert Urich, who was Spencer for Hire, the original Spencer for Hire. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're on the soap now, tangent. Now, we're, we're on the soap tangent. We're, yeah, but let's, let's get back to Saturday Night Live. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Kathy, um, right. and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, from your time as a stand up comedian in New York, you've met a couple of these people. I have met a couple of people on the list. Not, um, not a lot. Um, I've met a couple of people, got to work with a couple of people, but uh, yeah, I know some of these people on the list I have met. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some of them, I met actually their brothers, like Chris Rock. I mean, I, I met Chris Rock and knew Chris Rock because he worked at the Uptown Comedy Club as well as um, uh, like the comic strip and things like that. But um, he has a brother, Tony, that is just, just a sweetheart. Just love that guy. Anyway, but uh, yeah. So I do know some of these people on the list, Sarah Silverman. There's a couple of folks uh, who were kind of in the New York City comedy scene around the time when I was doing comedy. But let's hit the list. Who do, I, the list is all over the place. And again, there, there are tons of folks. Because again, if I look at the whole list, because again, I always think of Ellen Clayhorn, who uh, definitely was one of the people when I was at the Uptown Comedy Club. And um, uh, my friend, Dot, uh, Donna Morgan, my old roommate, I think one time we, we had to drive her home and she was like laid out in the back of Don, Donna's Mustang, just sleeping away, uh, coming back from a gig. But I, I digress. In any case, um, when I think of, uh, I always think of the original cast, again, the original Not Ready for Primetime Players, and so many of them kind of went on to make movies and just be these comedy icons. So why don't we go old school and start with some of those original people? Okay, well, you know what? I want to start with, uh, um, I think, probably the first two to make a really successful movie, and uh, John Belushi with the with the Blues Brothers, and John they kind of transcended from, they took the skit hey, from Saturday Night Live. Hey, you're kind of fading in and out with your sound, or I don't know if it's your sound or your connection. I, I'm not sure which one. Uh Okay, not sure what happened to Kenny there. Um, this is Kathy and Kenny uh, um, explaining pop culture. He's having a little sound difficulty. Hopefully, we'll get him back in the stream in just a moment. And again, we were talking about what um, uh, j just some of the 
characters and actors from Saturday Night Live who went on to fame outside of Saturday Night Live. Like in that original cast, you had a lot of awesome people, Lorraine Newman and, um, and um, oh God, Garrett Morris. That's one I can't never think of. But again, the folks we're sharing with you tonight are those who kind of transcended and went beyond that. And Kenny just mentioned John Belushi and uh, Dan Aykroyd, who played the Blues Brothers. Let me see if I can bring them back into the stream. Hey, Kenny, are you there? Okay, I think I think we lost him. He's probably going to try to come on on his phone. Um, hey, are you, you, got are you me? coming on? Yeah, I got you now. Okay, I'm on my computer. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but I'm on my computer. Okay. All right. Were you on your computer or your phone before? I was on my computer before. I, I, okay. I, had, my, I had my phone over here so I could watch the stream, and I have my other laptop over here so I have the list. So I'm all computer. I'm like, you know. Okay. Oh, Ed's back in the house. And Ed, the Ed! Animal House breakout role yes. for for, for John Belushi, definitely breakout role. Um, but I I think, um, wasn't Chevy Chase the first to leave? Because I think there was some like animosity. And what was funny is, I guess, uh, TCM, uh, Turner Classic Movies, they actually are doing a star a day. I don't know who was today. I might have, if I missed the Natalie Wood day. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, they did Goldie Hawn one day and they played two movies. Uh, with Goldie Hawn and Chevy Chase and uh, Foul Play and uh, Seems Like Old Times. But I know Chevy Chase was one of the first to leave to kind of go on to do movies and, and have some well, success. Chevy, yeah, Chevy, Chase, Chevy Chase really got his fame when he did the um, vacation movies. And I have, a, I have an interesting story about Chevy Chase. Don't um, tell me you make Chevy Chase a ride in your lift. No, 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 no. An interesting story I heard about Chevy, Chevy Chase uh, when he was on Saturday Night Live. Um, uh, Paul Mooney told a story. I saw an interview. He told a story about when Richard Pryor did Saturday Night Live. Paul Mooney. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. But, but the, he told, I saw him do an interview telling a story about when Richard Pryor was on um, Saturday Night Live and how um, Richard Pryor really didn't like Chevy Chase. And he really didn't want to do a skit with him. And they had a skit with Richard Pryor with everybody. We had a famous John Belushi, Richard Pryor, Samurai sketch. And one of the more famous sketches that Richard Pryor did was a sketch he did with the word association with Chevy Chase. Richard oh, Pryor didn't want yeah. to do that. He didn't want to do a scene with Chevy Chase at all. He didn't really care for him too much. And Paul Mooney said, okay. Chevy Chase is following you around. He, he wants to do a scene with you. Let's write a scene for Chevy Chase. So that scene that they did was probably one of the most popular scenes in that whole episode with the word association with Richard Pryor. And they really, Richard Pryor didn't want to do that scene with him at all. Mm -hmm. And that was probably one of the, one of the best, funniest scenes ever. Because and Chevy Chase was like, I guess, following him around like a puppy dog. Like, I want to do a scene with Richard. I want to do a scene with Richard. I want to do a scene with Richard. Because it's Richard Pryor. Right. <laughs> um, your your sound is going out again. I don't know what again? happened. Huh? Again? Okay. I, no, I thought your sound was out again. No, I, was, I, I, I stopped to take a drink. Okay. Your the dramatic pause. Okay. So um, let's see. Ready for prime time. And again, we're talking about the best uh, or not the best, the folks who went on to some success or just... Um, Saturday Night Live uh, alumni. And like I said, 160 was the total that Wikipedia had for different cast members. And I'm talking about even those people who were on for a hot minute. So like, we're probably not gonna be talking about, um, you know, uh, Denitra Vance or or some of the other like minor people who might've been, you know, Todd Sweeney on, on for a season or a season or two. Well, or the guy who got fired for cursing. Was it was it um, Charles Rocket? Charles Rocket, yeah. We're, Charles we're Rocket. Leave. Now, let me, <laughs> let me, let me, let me people who had success outside of right. Saturday Night uh, Saturday Night Live, and I think Gilda Radner. It, again, just going back to that original, back to that 1975 cast, and I know she's done um, like different movies and different things, and. Um, 
probably would have done so much more had her life not been shortened by cancer. But the one thing I remember was her stage show. I yes. didn't see the actual stage show, but back when HBO was, you know, home box office, when they first were getting started, in addition to having um, movies and things uh, or say, showing the same five movies, because um, <laughs> if you weren't watching Eddie and the Cruisers for like the, 150th time. They used to actually have these uh, uh, plays and shows that they would record. And I think uh, Guild Alive was recorded. And, and that was one of the things I remember seeing over and over again, on like HBO or Cinemax or whatever the uh, cable special where she, you know, revived some of her Saturday Night Live characters, did some other characters and ended it with just like the sweetest little song that I still hear in my head. Um, just like one of those old school kind of girl girl group songs, "Honey, Touch Me with My Clothes On." I don't, you got to see Gilda Live if you haven't. You're missing. Well, that. actually, actually, HBO. And that just remind me, H, this person wasn't a Saturday Night Live comedian, but mm -hmm. HBO when they used to do that, that was, that's when I was first exposed to Whoopi Goldberg, my celebrity crush, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> so okay, hey, um, For HBO special. But her HBO, where they just taped her Broadway special, which yeah. basically is all Disney Plus did with Hamilton, even though you refused to watch it. But now I Disney watched it. Okay, but you didn't like it. Okay. I didn't watch the second half. I didn't watch the second half. Well, you know, and usually, uh, I guess in New York, and probably you can't do this since 9 11, but they would call it second acting, where you would uh, go into, like when they take the intermission, there were people who would kind of go in off the street because people would come out in the street, they'd have a smoke, they'd be at the bar, they'd have a drink, and then they would go in to watch the second act of the play. But a lot of times they would never check your tickets and stuff. So people would do what's called second acting. So, you know, especially. You know, so, so like, people didn't have money, so you would just kind of go in and settle back in with the crowd after and watch the second act. Because again, some people would leave, but you know, if there's empty seats, like you probably couldn't do it with a popular show like Hamilton, but you know, other shows so, so, that sounds like something you've probably done before. Oh, no, because that doesn't seem like that would be legal. Okay, I'm just saying, you seem to know a lot about it. It's quite a scam. It's quite a scam. <laughs> Quiet as it's kept. Quiet as kept. Right. Okay, but no, but back you know, yeah. Back to the list. Um, I guess um, we got a lot on the list, so we don't have to again. Can I, now, what, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I'm, I'm, I'm starting with the original cast though, because one of the people from the original cast who didn't quite make it as big, but has been constant in show business and has made a lot of appearances on different shows and a lot of guest appearances. And a lot of like roles is Garrett Morris. Yeah, and I mentioned Garrett Morris, but I, I don't know. To me, it seems like he wasn't as big as he could have been. He's not he's not as big as he could have been, but he wanted to be in a regular on like the Way in show. He wanted to be in a regular on um another show was that Two Broke Girls. He wanted to be like he he was a regular on a lot of different shows. He played a lot of supporting characters in movies and things. What way so, in what way in was a regular on Saturday Night Live? Damon. Okay. Oh, hey, I'm just just checking. Why why are you trying to, why are you trying to play me? I'm just checking uh, again. Now I'm I'll tell you what a, pop culture. <laughs> one of the biggest one of the biggest stars in Hollywood right now mm -hmm. only lasted one season on Saturday Night Live, and I don't think he did a whole season, but that was Robert Downey Robert, Jr. Robert Downey Jr. I, I th what was that was that the um. The, the horror season, the season that like, was it 80 or was that yeah. 85, 86, 86? He was yeah, on 85, 86. 85, 86. I think, 86, he, was, I think he was on the same Ray time Ray. when like all the people got fired and yeah. everything. I think, Ray, wasn't um uh, Anthony Michael Hall in that season too? Yes. Anthony yeah. Michael Hall, that 85, 86 season was, I guess, season <laughs> from from H E double Ockles hockey six. And, but he and was, both were, and both of them were coming up being on the Brack Pack and everything else. So you know. Uh everybody couldn't have been fired because I think John Levitt started in eighty five and he's still on there. Yeah, he's, he's still on, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Morgan yeah. Fairchild. Yeah, okay. that's that's the ticket. That's the ticket. Yeah. That's the ticket. 
<laughs> so everybody has their favorite kind of um so wait we talked chevy chase and uh who else do we need to talk about from like the old school cast oh you might want to talk about al franken who was not original yes. cast but he was back in the day um, yes because he was uh richard smiley because people liked him they really uh and uh wait how, how did it go i can't remember all the quotes from um from um, him. yeah, I can't remember all the quotes from Al Franklin. But uh, uh, hey, Len Al hey Lenora, Lenora, how you doing, Lenora? We we had we had um some people who went on to uh, do TV shows and movies and entertainment fame, but he actually went on to political fame. Yeah, Al, Al Franklin took the other route all together, huh? Al Franklin took the other route all together. He's like, you know what? Maybe um, I'll do something else. <laughs> and, you know, I put Dennis Miller on there too because I know he went on to do stand up, and he was one of the anchor yeah. folks. But and I think he has gone off. I don't know whether it's political or just the right wing. But you know, he's yeah uh, not doing as much now. Oh, you know what? Original cast: Jane Curtin. Oh yeah, what happened to Jane Curtin? I haven't seen her anything I haven't seen her in a while, but. Uh, Jane Curtin went on to do quite a few movies because she was in a movie with Lily Tomlin and um oh gosh nine nine to five no 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 um how, no 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 five she oh, was in oh. how how to, how to um oh, what was that Jane Curtin because we saw it in the theater I saw it in Echelon right. Mall yeah um. <laughs> you remember those movies you see at the Echelon Mall I, that theater isn't even there anymore is it from the Echelon no. Mall. <laughs> Oh, um, think, Laura, I'm, you know, you know, that boy, he, it's called the you know, the shops that boy he's now. It's yeah, it's yeah, all, yeah. It's no, it's, 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 Mar Mar Marcy works in that in that thing, and it's all it's all it's destroyed. It's done. <laughs> it's done. Um, <laughs> so when I worked at Strawbridge and oh, now you know what? I, I, I this gonna bother me that I can't remember the name of that movie. Um, how to beat the high cost of um, how to beat the high cost of living? Okay, yes. Was it? Oh, one of Charlie's Angels was in it. Um, oh gosh, don't get me started. Don't get oh, me lying. Was it, uh, Jessica Lang in it? I can't remember. Uh, I think it was Jessica Lang. Jessica Jessica Lang, and I thought it was like was it mm. Kate Jackson or one oh, of Charlie's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know how we could do. I know how we. I know how we can fix this. How, how do we fix this? Uh, I do it with Ed, the, the, the face. Ed, Ed, how to beat the high cost of living. Who was in it? Ed, who, who, who's, who, who's in how to beat the high cost of living? I want to say how to Chucky. It looks like Dad's on our page. Alex Cooper. Uh, Kalisa Cooper, very talented young man I met a couple months ago. How that pizza was. How, how was Dad, how was the pizza? Did that pizza rock his world? I know the cheese looked a little, it looked a little toasty. I mean, I mean, Lang in that movie. Oh, you know, Susan St. James, it was not. Okay, was, yeah. Okay. Susan St. James, Jessica Lang. Uh, no, Richard you can't, you can't mention the original cast without mentioning Bill Murray. Bill Murray wasn't actually in the original cast. He oh, he came on, he came, yeah, yeah, yeah after, yeah. Lab, I think. Um, but yeah, Bill Murray, Definitely, definitely had like a ton well, of Chevy, Chevy, Chase used to, Chevy Chase used to do something in the beginning of Saturday Night Live where he did a a prat fall and he would do some kind of fall and then say live from New York on Saturday night and he yeah. would that was his whole stick. Every you know, he would do this. The fall is and, it. <laughs> the is on it. Susan St. James. Susan St. James, yeah. How to beat the high cost of living. Was it, was it Susan St. James? One of those movies they constantly showed on HBO. Yeah, Susan, it, it was also Jessica Lang and or was it somebody else? Oh, did you hear that? We have like some kind of ghost. Cause now every like just randomly throughout the day and even in the middle of the night, the alarm goes off. The um I, you know what? Um, don't say ghost. Okay. Because because my my roommates think that the house is haunted, and I'm alone in the house tonight. Okay. And my other roommate from work has been sending me scary pictures, on, on texting me scary pictures. So yeah, don't say ghost because I'm already scared. I got every light in the house on. I ain't nobody. <laughs> I ain't nobody's pump, but okay. Arizona, okay. Bill Murray replaced Chevy Chase. Right, replaced Chevy Chase. I wonder. I wonder why okay, that's what they're looking along. Let's fast forward into the timeline because, 
like I said, there's a lot of people who went on to other success. Um, another cast member who actually came from, oh, what was the Canadian show that kind of was the uh, Second City TV? Second City TV, right? Uh, was Martin Short? He was a cast member yes. uh, for a brief period of time, so he's going on to do tons of other things. What was um, that character? What's that character he did with the little cowlick? Oh, oh, I must say, yeah, I must say, <laughs> yeah, that guy. That, I forgot the character's name he did with the little cowlick. <laughs> Oh man, you know what? Uh, I wonder. We we should have uh, researched what streaming services actually show. Uh -huh. Well, actually, Hulu. Uh, Hulu, what, show, Hulu show said that life. Uh, Hulu and but I'm I'm sure the new Peacock as well. Uh, would you be able to stream some of those old like classic ones? Ah, He's, Ed is on it. Ed is. Ed Grimley. Ed Grimley. Ed. Ed. Ed, Ed, Ed Brown is my man. Ed Brown is my man. Oh man! See, I my backup is Bruce, and he, I, he's not on tonight. So, Bruce, we are missing you because you usually give us the insights. Ed's, when Ed's we're got missing it. Things. Ed's got but it. Ed's, Ed's on it. Ed's, Ed's on it. Like like. And my, my dad Ed's, thinks Ed, you know, should replace my brother. Ed, anyway. Ed, Ed, Ed is, Ed, <laughs> what? My dad's Ed, gonna. Uh, huh? What? <laughs> oh, let's adopt Ed. All right. Uh, some other stars. Uh, we mentioned Jim. Uh, uh, John Belushi, but we didn't mention Jim Belushi because yes. that was his brother. He came in on uh, much, much later, but he uh, again had uh, acting performances in his own right. The most memorable for me being the principal. Um, <laughs> He's a principal, man. <laughs> My second favorite principal, <clears throat> as the pick, as depicted in the movies, because the first one would definitely be um, uh, Lean on Me. And yeah. uh, <laughs> I, I, I like I like I, I like I like Jim Belushi and the principal when he beats up Eddie Kane Jr. Oh, throws him out of school, and he goes, "Who do you think you are?" And the guy goes, "You're a principal, man." <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my favorite scene is the one with him and Robert Guillaume in the courtroom, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay, let's go on and look at the list. You got to go watch that scene because I'm not gonna even entertain that um by defining uh what was in that scene who else on this list and you know what? a lot of the folks from saturday night live wind up having success either doing movies through um i guess lauren michaels production companies and 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 working still through kind of like the NBC umbrella, uh, folks like jimmy fallon and seth meyer <coughs> who actually yeah. went on to have their own like uh, talk shows. Adam Sandler was one who benefited greatly. And I think he was doing comedy around the time when I was, uh, you know, in and out of those clubs in New York City. Where did, where, where did, Adam, where did Adam Sandler start before Saturday Night Live? Where could oh, you see show? Adam Sandler? What, what show could you see Adam Sandler on before Saturday Night Live? Did he do Home Improvement or... I don't know. What show? He made guest appearances as one of Field's friends in the Cosby show. Aha, uh -huh. the Cosby Show, because actually that was taped in Queens, so we had a lot of New York comics and and New York actors who got to yeah. appear. You see, on I I know I know I know things like that, Dad Ed and and Bruce who Ed and okay. Bruce who Bruce Roberts probably knew that as well as Ed Brown. I think both of them knew that. So okay. I'm sorry. That's maybe not your superpower, your special power. If you have a superpower or a special power or even a favorite show that uh, or favorite actor from Saturday Night Live who's going on to some fame, who is ready for primetime player, you can give us a call 704-252-8813. We also uh, invite you to the comments. I guess we can invite you on the stream, too, if I can copy... Um, the link I can post that in the comments, and if you want to uh, come on the stream, uh, come on and say hi. Uh, we would love, <coughs> we would love uh, to have you. Excuse me. Okay. Now let me you know, see if I can get it. Go ahead. Can you talk, and I'll see if okay. I can. Copy okay. This the most, the one, one of the most popular. Um, Say that live people that we are uh, looking over. We're looking over a couple of popular ones. Uh, one of the first popular ones I want to mention is Eddie Murphy, who blew up from that. 
Um, went from Saturday Night Live, doing 48 hours. His stand-up comedy show on HBO, uh, Delirious. Um, that was classic. Which, which yes, which is very classic. And I his remember breakout when, movie was Forty Eight Hours. I thought it was Beverly Hills Cop. Forty Eight Hours. He did Forty Eight Hours. Was first. Forty Eight Hours was before Beverly Hills Cop. Ed. Forty Eight Hours. Forty Eight Hours. Forty Eight Hours okay. was the first one. Forty Eight Hours is first, and then Beverly Hills Cop. And then Beverly Hills Cop. All right, if you say so. I, I don't I'm, know. For I'm some right. reason, I thought Beverly Hills Cop was the breakout no, role. No, it was 48 hours. Okay. But the best role was Coming to America. I'm sorry. I just love that movie. It's so quotable. All right, you're right. 48 no, hours. No, 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 no. Although, it's actually, best role. Trading Places was before um, Beverly Hills Cop. I don't know why. I just think Beverly Hills Cop would be the more <laughs> role. Actually, oh, no. no I think, Ed, has I think the, Ed has the answer. Trading, trading places. places, but now according to MDB, uh, 48 hours was first because 48 hours was 19, 1982 and trading places was 1983. But trading places also featured Dan Aykroyd of Saturday Night Live fame, yes. so that's and, kind of the and, and trading places also featured our hometown of Philadelphia. Ah, trading places featured Philadelphia. Wee. Okay. So, um, also, too, I think Eddie Murphy's best, I think he has two best roles to date. One was in Boomerang. 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 Okay. And the That's other good. one, the other one was Norbert. 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 Oh. Norbert. Oh. Norbert makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Norbert. Every time. You're not a man. No. Okay. It doesn't take much to make me laugh. <laughs> All right. But Norbert, I, I still like coming to America because that to me uh, it's just a classic. So no, I like coming to America. It was like, yeah. That boy's good. Yeah, he's <laughs> getting bad. <laughs> Sexual chocolate. All right. Who else is on your list? Who else is on your list? Um, or who else on the list that you want to talk well, about? Well, well, Mike Myers um and Eddie Murphy did Shrek together. Oh, and yes. Mike Myers also did the um, like, Austin Powers we're, movies. We're like, we're crossing the streams. Bill Murray, Dan <laughs> Eckboy, we're crossing the streams. <laughs> Don't cross the streams. Okay. See you on the other side, Ray. <laughs> nice work with you, Dr. Beckman. Um, I'm sorry. I, oh, I, I'm playing around with the computer screen, so forgive okay. me. <laughs> so Mike, My, Mike Myers, who did the Austin Powers movies, mm -hmm. who took a sketch from Saturday Night Live with um, who did the Wayne's World sketch with him? Because they took the sketch from uh, Saturday Night Live. Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey and uh, Mike Myers, who took the sketch, the Wayne's World sketch from Saturday Night Live and made it into a movie. Mm. Where they did the whole Bohemian Rhapsody thing. Aha. Uh -huh. do, 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 do. I'm sorry, I know there's no singing, but I just like that. No singing. <laughs> there's no singing. Okay, so uh who else do you want to talk about on this ready for primetime player list? Um uh, former Saturday Night Live uh cast members who've won. Oh, we, got, to we got Chris Rock success and fame. Oh, Chris Rock, yes. It was Chris, Chris Rock, Rock, definitely. Chris Rock, who I think is his first movie role. Mm -hmm. was, was it Hunt for a Rib? No, oh, no. I, I, I believe his first movie role was actually a walk on in Crush Groove. Oh, was he? Yeah, he might have had a walk on in Crush Groove. But to, I'm sorry, the memorable Crush line is how much is it for a rib? <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, he was in Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> what about a sip? That's just that's just funny. That movie is so really? funny. And you know what? I have friends who at the time didn't want to see my friends in Philly, Val and Ty. I remember they fought me tooth and nail about going to see that movie. Tell what? me, I'm, it, I'm going to get you sucker because at the time oh it, wasn't, it wasn't playing every place. It was kind of like a little art house place in Philly. Like it was only showing at like five or six movies what in the whole Philadelphia South 
uh, Jersey area when it first came out before it got any kind of attention and they didn't want to see it and just How much was so why they complain but it turns out they saw it and they loved it uh, how much you pour how much you pour in my head for a quarter <laughs> how much you pour in my head for a quarter <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's just uh but if you haven't seen i'm gonna get you sucker which is uh again wayne's brother um movie it, it, it or was that robert townsend no. That's a Wayne Brothers. That's a Wayne Brothers movie, and Wait. it has two Saturday Night Live cast members in it. When it has uh, uh, Chris Rock in it, and it also has Damon Wayans in it. Damon Wayans. Okay. Um, also, wait, was um, oh wait, he wasn't on to Living Color, but he wasn't a cast member though. Uh, I was thinking of Jim Carrey, but he never made it as a cast member. Um, no. you know, here's some other. I wanted to just say some other honorable mentions because there's stars that kind of went on to do other roles or other things. But uh, again, um, uh, we already talked about that, uh, the horrible season. That's the one with Ju uh, Julie, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I think she was part of that, uh, the funky season. Well, no, maybe she was gone before the funky season. No, I she's part of the funky season. She's part of the funky season, I believe. The funky, I don't know. <laughs> well, actually, Damon Wayans was in that funky season, but that I don't know why that season it has some big stars though. Because, like we said, uh, Anthony Michael Hall, uh, who again looks so different from what everybody knew yes. him from the John Hughes movies and 16 Candles because he had kind of bulked up. And, and I, I, yeah, I remember when I met him, he was like a giant. Um, now, giant. Cult classic. Oh, wait, what, uh, Dion, what, what's a cult classic? I don't know what she would. I think she yeah, talking yeah, um, she's talking about I'm going to get you sucker, I believe. Oh, I'm going. Oh, definitely, definitely a cult classic now. All right, who? I, 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 uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, real quick. I was, I'm surprised Dion is even talking to me after the last time I saw her a couple of weeks ago. I whipped her so bad in spades. It was. It was. Okay, you're taking the stream crazy. off to some kind of personal thing. I'm just talking to nobody her. Nobody to, but the two of you. I'm, I'm just talking to our listeners. I'm just talking to our listeners because we'll we got one listener that we're listening to us who I just thanked. Okay, go ahead. All right. Um, let's uh, talk about some of the ladies. I'm going to mention Tina Fey because uh, not only was she a writer yeah. and a feature performer, but uh, again, she's gone on to write movies such as Mean Girls and as, as well as appear in everything from Sisters to um, just tons of different date night different roles outside of of Saturday Night uh, Live, as well as her and Amy Poehler hosting award shows. And they uh, usually do a pretty good job. But uh, yeah. you know, speaking of Amy Poehler, we might as well put her on the list because she was a cast member um, as well for eight seasons from 2001 to 2009, so she, uh, 2008. So um, you, have, you, have, movies. you have Lori Metcalf on the list. I don't remember her being on Saturday Night Live. Uh, Lori Metcalf uh, was on the list, uh, and again, they only had her on for for one season. Um, so, and she went on to be on Roseanne and later the Connors. So, as well as I think most of her work again was on, on stage. And a lot of folks who had that experience either in the New York comedy scene uh, as well as theater scene. I don't even remember her being on, to be on, on uh, Saturday Night Live. I don't uh, remember her being on Saturday Night Live. Okay. Well, it was 1981. Maybe you didn't watch that year. I don't know. But she was on the list. She's on the cast list at the 160 people. Um, also, Maya Rudolph. And again, most yes. people... Um, Who is the daughter of Minnie Rippleton. Uh, Minnie Rippleton. And I see, I know Maya Rudolph because she does a guest vocal on a Tina Marie song called Too Many Colors. So... Really? I mean, die, but if you have Apple Music, you can listen to anybody. So you need to look up Tina Marie, T E E N A, and um, Too Many Colors by Tina Marie, and you'll hear a young Maya Rudolph doing uh, a bit on um, uh, uh, Tina Marie's album. I'm going to let you guys know my sister is the biggest Tina Marie fan you'll ever meet. I'm going to hip you to the T. What? What's the T? Dion, Dion says Tina Fey was one of the best writers on SNL. One of the best. And oh yes. She just uh, You know you know who we haven't mentioned? Who haven't we mentioned? Yet? 
Ed, Ed, well, the Ed, early Ed, years, okay. from the early years, Buck Henry. Oh, wow. You know what? And I, I think I might have deleted him from this list. But but again, we were talking about people who went on to do some other things after yeah, Saturday Night Live. I'm not sure how him. much he did. But Ed Brown has somebody that is on our list, and that is Ben Stiller. And I didn't know. Back in, and back in 1989, and if you mentioned Ben Stiller, you'd also have to mention like uh, uh, Janine Garofalo, who was also a regular on Saturday Night Live, but they also starred together in, um, oh, what's the movie? He, he actually directed Mystery it. Men. Mystery uh, Men. Yeah, they were, to, they were in Mystery Men. They won a couple of things because I think for a while they dated. Um, I, would, I would tell you now, Janine Garofalo is hot. Okay, <laughs> where is this coming from? Janine Garofalo also played, I guess, uh, if you ever watched Mad About You in the 90s, uh, she played the uh, Mabel, the older version of their daughter in like flashback scenes. But evidently there's a new Mad About You and they did a really? revival, but you have to have Spectrum Cable to see it. And that's just wrong. Cause I mean, I have direct TV, which I'm kind of sick of. And if you have a better service, I, 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 no, I I'm sick of direct TV. It's got to go. Um, uh, I don't know who Giada Radner is. Is that supposed to be Gilda or? Well, did, 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 we mentioned Gilda Radner. Okay. We, oh, yeah. We got her. Yeah. Um, but uh, evidently there's a Mad About You reboot that I totally missed. And, really? And I used to love Mad About You. I don't know. I, I never about. really got into Mad About You. I, I did. I, I enjoyed it. Um, um, I want to say Chris Swanson about, and Joe Downs. Huh? We didn't talk about uh, Phil sure. Hartman. And I think Phil Hartman probably would have went on to do more. But again, he was uh, murdered. Yeah, uh, murdered was suicide, tragically, uh, killed, tragically killed. Yes. But um, but he did do some things after he left uh, Saturday Night Live before he was uh, before he died. Um, when we talk about uh, Tina Fey, she also was the writer of 30 Rock, which included Tracy Morgan, who was uh, also on Saturday Night Live. Who was also on Saturday Night Live. Oh, yeah. Now, 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 I, I used to, um, um, the, who you just mentioned, um, the gentleman you just mentioned, Phil Hartman. I used, oh, to, love, I used Hartman. to love Phil Hartman and whatever he did. I mm -hmm. thought he was hilarious. Um, he could do, uh, yeah, he, he could play like that straight guy. Like Dan yeah. Aykroyd was good at that, kind of playing yeah, yeah. Like the straight He's man. Kind of Dan, of yeah, because Dan Aykroyd always played the straight man to like either Bill Murray or John Belushi or whoever he was with. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and like he played the straight man for Eddie Murphy in 48 Hours. I mean, I'm in Trading Places. So, mm -hmm. you know, Dan, you know, it's going to be a straight man. Um, another person we haven't mentioned is Will Farrell. Ah, well, oh, yes, Will Farrell. And one of the things I loved uh, Will Farrell in, it, Kenny, do you have your list? The list of movies mm -hmm. you have to watch? Like, I know the m movies I'm supposed to watch, Fast and Furious, and I'm only watching one. Um, so I'm going to watch the first Fast and Furious. If it's that good, maybe I'll dig in and watch the others. So I know, and I, I did watch part of it, but it was on, it was on uh, cable TV, like TNT or something. So mm -hmm. I, I will watch it without commercials, like so I really can commit to it and watch it. Um, and what other movie was I supposed to watch? I forget. But the I know best. you have a list from me. You got to watch The Greatest Showman. And mm -hmm. speaking of Will Ferrell, you have to watch Stranger Than Fiction. Really? Write it down. Stranger Than Fiction. You're not writing it down. Well, I, it's up here. Write it down. It's up here. What did I say? Okay, I'm going to write it down. Write it down. I don't have a pen in front of me. Wrong answer. Get a pen. All right. We're going to let him go get a pen so he can write these things down. But Will Ferrell is in a movie called Stranger Than Fiction. Mar Maggie Gyllenhaal, Queen Latifah, Emma Thompson – this movie is choice. You need to see this movie. It's called Stranger Than Fiction. If you haven't seen it, put it on your list. That is a Kathy Walker pop culture recommendation. That is that is all about it. Kathy Walker pop culture recommendation. Stranger Than yeah. Fiction. I, I, I just wrote it down. Stranger Than Fiction. All right. 
Um, let's see. Pearl the Landlord on Funny or Die is hysterical. I have not seen that. Have you seen Funny or Die? No. Okay. Um, I've not seen that. Is that who who's 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 Pearl the Landlord? Is that a Saturday Night Live person, Dion? Um, Funny or Die. Oh, 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 that's Will Ferrell. That's the little girl. Oh, I have seen that. It's like it's like this baby. And oh, is that when I he get, comes to the door and he's over the door and little baby's at the door? Oh, I've seen those. Those are hilarious. Those is, are hilarious. I, I forgot all about that. That is that's funny. And he, and then, like, she's looking, she looking for the rent or something like yeah. that. <laughs> the little baby is trying to get the rent. That does crack me up. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. It's like we've both had to kind of we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we had to both me. fire up our our. our yeah. um, Pop culture reference. He's uh, like, like, uh, yeah. The Will Ferrell. You're my man, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, who else? Uh, I mean, there's tons of folks on the list that we didn't get to talk about. Fred Armisen, Gilbert Godfrey. Uh, we didn't talk about um, uh, Chris Farley, who him and yes, David, Spade, David Spade. Um, okay, Ed's asking, did we mention Tim Meadows? And you know, I hate to leave a brother out, but we left a brother out because I'm sorry. What did he do? What else did he do besides? Because all I know him for is saying that lot. No, else? Tim Meadows. Tim Meadows did. Um, he was in. Um, what was that Lindsay Lohan movie? Oh, he mean was in Girls. Mean Girls. Mean Girls. But, yeah, mean Girls. I mean, you have. I mean, he was in other stuff too. He played. He's like. Um, <clears throat> He's like Garrett Mars. He he plays these like bit parts and supporting roles and then a lot of different things. So Tim Meadows still does a lot of acting. He just doesn't have his star status. Oh, you know, we forgot Kevin Nealon. Kevin Nealon. He because he did other stuff outside of uh Saturday Night Live. Yeah, but now now he's now he's regulated to doing like Adam Sandler movies whenever Adam Sandler needs it. Uh, well, because he does um Oh, he was on, um, uh, what was that? It was a Showtime show. Um, Weeds. Weeds. He was on that okay, show. I didn't see that one. I didn't see that one. Oh, you, you didn't see one? Weeds? Was, it, it started well, out okay, but then it kind of <coughs> took a turn. We didn't mention... Um, Kristen <coughs> Wiig. Huh? Oh, I Kristen love her. Wig. I love her. Now, I didn't like Bridesmaids, and people talked a lot about Bridesmaids, although it had elements, like, I, there's things about it I like, because Melissa McCarthy, I think, is great, but I get tired of hearing that or seeing that one character all the time, um, although I think that character, her and Sandra Bullock, um, the movie they did together, that was at least interesting. I think both of them can kind of carry a movie, but sometimes you're just going to that character she plays kind of wears on me, but in Bridesmaids, I, I did find it funny and I yeah, did Bridesmaids. enjoy it, but I didn't think it was, I didn't think it was all that, but see, that's what happens when movies get hyped up. Cause I yeah. thought the same thing about the hangover. Cause I mean, it was okay. Yeah. Like all was that. okay. Yeah. yeah. I just watched the movie just now that I, you know, um, was it us? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. You watch tonight. Us. No, I'm not oh, watching. You're home by yourself. Okay. <laughs> no, no scary movies. Watching. You should watch The Greatest Showman. Anyway, um, is that on the list? Do you yeah, the Greatest Showman to my list. Greatest Showman to my list. Did you write it down? I I didn't write. Okay. Wrong answer. Write it down. Greatest Showman. Okay, read the list back to me. Um. Ha um. Um, Stranger Fiction, Greatest Showman. Okay. Um, what else was I supposed to watch? I just want to make sure you're writing it down. <laughs> um, hey, I, I didn't realize Randy Quaid was a cast member. He was. I didn't realize that either. Yeah, he was in that awful year. He was cast member. Although we had a lot of these um, other ones I didn't mention. Joan Cusack, who I love, she was in that horrible season, the '85, '86 season. Um, but I love me some Joan Cusack, and she's had some yeah. uh, pretty cool roles uh, with her brother too. Uh, so that's kind of cool, brother sister team. Billy uh, Crystal, I'm, we talked about early on. Anybody that we miss, hit us up in the comments. Uh, anybody that we miss, uh, I meant to check the phone. What did I sit the phone? Nobody has called in. Yeah, we did say Adam Sandler, right? We, we, we he... mentioned Adam Sandler. We did get to Adam Sandler. <laughs> oh, see, I got a voice now, so I might have missed the call. 
Oh well, I can't always do it. I can't always do it right. Who's your right. voicemail from? I don't. I I can't listen to it back because it'll play through, and that's yeah. I I won't do that because mm. um, I don't have permission to play their voice on here. Um, I think we hit a lot of them. I did, I know Pete Davidson's done a couple movies. He just did that um, uh, that one movie. I think he might be no more for mm -hmm. dating. We, we have we have a few minutes, Ariana. Kathy. Kathy, we have a few minutes. What is your favorite Saturday Night Live sketch? Oh, you know who we didn't mention? Oh, who did we mention? Kenan Thompson. Oh my goodness! I I thought I had him on the list. He is on you the do. list. You do. You do have on the list. He, I think he holds the record as being on the most seasons. Seventeen Saturday years. Saturday Night Saturday Night Live. Um, he literally. Oh, I I didn't mention Kate McKinnon, although she has had a breakout role. Her Leslie Jones. Um, Tina Fey, they were actually in the Ghostbusters, the girl version, which actually I thought was pretty good. And I don't know why it got slammed so bad. It was I good. It was good. And it was good um, now. But Keenan Thompson, we forgot Keenan Thompson. And I still think of him in terms of uh, what was his, what was the TV show he had on Nickelodeon? Keenan and Cal and all Kenan, that. Keenan and Cal. Oh yeah. And he was really part of all that also. Um it's strange because he was famous before he got on the show. Right. And that didn't happen a lot other than that bad season, that 85, 86 season where you had a lot of actors. and so, like That's when you had the um, Julia, Julia Louis-Dreyfus and yeah, um, Anthony 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 Hall, Hall. Robert yeah. Downey Jr., Okay. Um, also, who did I want to mention? Um, just like honorable mentions, we didn't mention Will Forte. As he's done a couple like movie roles and some acting. Michael McKeon. We didn't mention him. Lenny. Huh? Lenny. Lenny, Lenny of Lenny and Squiggy fame. Yes. <laughs> so, but he was actually on Saturday Night Live after Le being Lenny of. Uh, yeah. Wait, he yes. wasn't Lenny. He was Squiggy. No, he, Wait, was he, was he was Lenny. Lenny. He was Lenny. He was Lenny. And it's weird because I'm an X Files fan, so I know him from X Files. And just recently, if you if you follow X Files on Twitter, which that's down a nerd wormhole that I don't even want you to be a part of, but um, recently the cast members and people like he had a reoccurring role. He was on like a couple episodes of X Files, but uh, they made a I guess Zoom video. Of the theme song now if you know x files it's an instrumental theme song but they came up with some words to go with the x files show. It's, a, it's a cute little um i think i retweeted it so if you follow me on twitter uh you can catch it and if you follow now, up uh that's my twitter ha handle if you want to follow me on let, twitter. Me, let me let me ask and you a also question on uh youtube but michael mckeon is in that video singing the x files theme which i think is kind of cool now, Go let ahead. me ask you a question, Maybe. Kathy. Maybe. What is your favorite sketch from Santa Live? Oh, gosh. I, forget, I didn't realize we were at the 930. I went off on my tangent. Oh, what is my favorite Santa Live sketch? Oh, my gosh. Gumby, damn it. I like that one, but I don't know if that's favorite. I like Cheeburger, Cheeburger. Oh, gosh. Oh, but the, you know what? There was something about the Coneheads, too, that was, like, funny. Oh, and Coneheads. I'm not Coneheads. You know? Yes. Um, it, it, God, it, that's hard, because now I'm seeing, like, the cheerleading. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that is so hard. I, I know. <laughs> it's my favorite. When she puts her arms under there, and then she smells it, and then she... Huh? What? When she puts her arms under, and then she's... She like smells her armpits that she puts them under. And... Um, <coughs> oh man, I can't think. Oh gosh. Then, then there's the, then the, the there's samurai. The, oh. the samurai with Eddie Murphy and, uh -oh. and not Eddie Murphy, Bill, Ed with Richard filming, Pryor. And it's filming in the blanks. We forgot Bill Hader, Norm McDonald, Joe Piscopo. I Joe, mean, Joe Piscopo never been big, big. Well, he was, he, was Johnny, he was on Johnny Dangerously. You know? <clears throat> okay. Um, we did mention Sarah Silverman because she's yeah. going on to do some specials and some movies and things. And I think even 
like her last movie was a very uh, dramatic role that got a lot of attention and praise. Uh, Martin Short, we said, Leslie Jones. Um, I can't pick a favorite. I can't pick a favorite Saturday Night Live sketch. How about you? Do you have a favorite Saturday Night Live sketch? Um, well, I have a couple. There was the one where they all dressed up as superheroes, where <laughs> John Belushi was Hulk, and he stunk up the bathroom. Oh gosh, that's two two of your like favorite things: superheroes and smelling up the bathroom. Okay, let's see where Richard Pryor and Chevy Chase that I mentioned earlier. I always oh that one is a classic. Yeah, I always I always say the Gilda Rad and the Rosanna Dana Dana line could it be rain, could it be snow, all depending on the weather. And that's your line. Sweaty balls. That's a good one. <laughs> sweaty balls. Who's wrong with sweaty oh, balls? Oh, every Mr. time. Bill. Every time. Oh, my God. Every time. Oh, my God. 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 Ed Brown for the win. Ed Brown for the win on Mr. Bill. Ed Brown. He is awesome. How do we, how do we forget Mr. Bill? Oh my god. How, how do we forget Mr. Bill? I don't know. I don't you know what? We might not even need to show up next week because we obviously don't know what we're doing, don't know what we're talking about. We forgot all about Mr. Bill. That was like one of the really forget Mr. Bill. That was classic. Let's see, see my buddy here. Look at my buddy. Who's your buddy? My buddy. Go ahead. Look at my buddy. Go ahead. I can't. No. You can't see my buddy? No. Okay. Oh, okay, I see you, buddy. That's a big buddy. Yeah, that's a big dog. It's it's, it's Kingston. Kingston. He's a he's a big Saint Saint Bernard. Wow. Yeah, he's a very wow. big Saint Bernard. Well, hey, listen, we've been at this for an hour, so yeah, it's, it's time to sign hour. off. Because actually, I baked the pizza and I had like a a taste of it, but I had salmon, sweet potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. Well, I have you know my homemade pizza that I'm like. I had, I made this also. I'm going to come down North Carolina, and I'm going to make you, mom and dad, my salmon. Uh, okay. Because I make an awesome salmon dish. All right. Uh, speaking of family, just shout out because I thought this picture. Um, oh. Me on Facebook, I shared it. I posted it, and that is three generations. I'm just excited to get the picture. With the three of you plus daddy to get that whole four yeah, the generation. Four generation. Right. Yeah. I think that I, would be that's awesome. my son. That's my son George and my grandson Milo. Oh. Who who spit up on me twice already. Again, my brother doesn't know that you can't shake a baby after the baby's finished. Yeah, I, I I was lifting him up after he ate. I was and making him laugh. One, two, three, four. He's had four babies, but yet he doesn't know you can't shake a baby. <coughs> Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know he was going to spit up that quick. Positive vibes for the pizza. Yay. Oh, pizza was outstanding. He'll eat anything, though. Daddy will eat anything. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just saying. But in any case, to <laughs> George and Jess and Milo, welcome. Welcome to Welcome back to America. America. <laughs> Uh, okay, Kenny, that about wraps it up. We yes. have been talking about the ready for primetime players. Thank you now, so much. Now, next week, just to let you guys know, next week, Saturday is Michael Jackson's birthday. And we will be having all Michael Jackson show. If you want to be starting something, wear your white glove and beat it. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> To your computer or telephone. Because you are my lovely one. Yes. And yes. We are going to be at 2300 Jackson Street. And, and it will be a thriller. <laughs> oh, it's going to be dangerous. It's going to be oh dangerous. Oh, it will be a thriller. It's going to be dangerous. Be okay. Yeah. You can't beat it. So be here next Saturday night. We celebrate. Yes, we'll be uh, celebrating Michael Jackson's birthday, and we'll be talking about Michael Jackson um, next. Saturday. Oh, okay. Now I, I got to read this whole book. 
So I'll be ready for next Saturday. Ooh. Oh, oh look at that. Yeah, look at that. What's that? What's that Adam Sandler movie? Little Michael. I like Little, little Michael. Michael. I, I love Little Michael. Little Michael. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. I want to rock with you. Oh, no. Uh, okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm all. We're going to have so I'm much fun next week. Next week. Already. I'm next week already. Yeah, yeah. Um, come, oh. come with us next week and do the Michael Jackson show. Come along and ride. Um, so, uh, again, we thank you so much thank uh, you so for much. tuning in for the live thank stream. You. Uh, once again, welcome to America, Milo. Um, and we are going to see you next week. If you are tuning in on our page, give us a like. If you're listening on YouTube, consider giving a like or a subscription. We do it every Saturday night, 8.30 to 9.30. It's Kathy and Kenny. We talk a little pop culture. And, oh, thank you so much, the audience. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yes, he's, uh, he looks. He looks like his grandfather. He's cute like his grandfather. But what? What's going on here? What? All right, <laughs> we're going to end the show on that note. Um, I guess his mic is broken. We don't know. Hey, my mic! I'm in here. I'm here. Okay, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're out of here. Let's go, Kenny. Okay. Uh, All right, we're out of here. And thank you very much. Come join us next week when we talk about uh, MJ on his birthday. And thank you for joining us. Please subscribe. Please, next week, somebody call in. Um, talk about Michael Jackson or try to come on the stream. But we appreciate you spending time with us on your Saturday night. We do appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for geeking, you for geeking out with Kathy and Kenny on Kathy and Kenny Explain Pop Culture.